The grace and the peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Gathered as we are this weekend to celebrate the 12th weekend or the 12th Sunday in ordinary time, we thank the Lord for coming together uh, today in prayer and we pray his grace and his blessing upon us. In the Gospel of today's Mass we hear how precious we are in the eyes of the Lord, that every hair on our head is counted, and we're told and asked not to be afraid, and especially at these times of the coronavirus and that fear and anxiety can enter deeply into our lives, but we know that the Lord is with us and helps us and enables us in every way. So as we prepare to celebrate our Mass today, we ask the Lord to forgive us for those times when we have failed to put our trust in him. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God and the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those who sit firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear so many disparaging me, terror from every side. Denounce him, let us denounce him, all those who used to be my friends, watched for my downfall. Perhaps he will be seduced into error, and then we will master him and take our revenge. But the Lord is at my side, a mighty hero. My opinion, opponents will stumble, mastered, confounded by their failure. Everlasting, unforgettable, disgrace will be theirs. But you, O Lord of hosts, you who probe with justice, who scrutinize the lines and heart, let me see the vengeance you will take on them. For I have committed my cause to you. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has delivered the soul of the needy from the hands of evil people. The word of the Lord. Our response today is, in your great love, answer me, O Lord. In your great love, answer me, O Lord. It is for you that I suffer taunts, that shame covers my face, that I have become a stranger to my brothers, an alien to my own mother's sons. I burn with zeal for your house, and taunts against you fall on me. Response, in your great love, answer me, O Lord. This is my prayer to you, my prayer for your favour. In your great love, answer me, O God, with your help that never fails. Lord, answer, for your love is kind. In your compassion toward, towards me, 
response. In your great love, answer me, O Lord. The poor, when they see it, will be glad. The God-seeking hearts will revive. For the Lord listens to the needy and does not spurn his servants in their chains. Let the heavens and the earth give him praise, the sea and all its living creatures. Response. In your great love, answer me, O Lord. The second reading is taken from the letter to the Romans. Sin entered the world through one man, and through sin death, and thus death has spread through the whole human race, because everyone has sinned. Sin existed in the world long before the law was given. There was no law, and so no one could be accused of sin, the sin of law-breaking. Yet death reigned over all from Adam to Moses. Even though their sin, unlike that of Adam, was not a matter of breaking a law. Adam prefigured the one to come, but the gift itself considerably outweighed the fall. If it is certain that through one man's fall so many died, it is even more certain that divine grace coming through one man Jesus Christ came to so many as an abundant free gift. The word of the Lord. The gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. The word was made flesh and lived among us. To all who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. Alleluia. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus instructed the twelve as follows, do not be afraid, for everything that is now covered will be uncovered and everything now hidden will be made clear. What I say to you in the dark, tell in the daylight. What you hear in whispers, proclaim from the housetops. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Fear him, rather, who can destroy both body and soul in hell. Can you not buy two sparrows for a penny? And yet not one falls to the ground without your father knowing. Why every hair on your head has been counted. So there is no need to be afraid. You are worth more than hundreds of sparrows. So if anyone declares himself for me in the presence of people, I will declare myself for him in the presence of my Father in heaven. But the one who disowns me in the presence of people, I will disown in the presence of my Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. There's a story that I remember and recall about a house fire and uh, the tragedy was um, really a tragedy as such but um, the house was burned but the father and most of the children and his wife were uh, taken from the house. And there was one little boy left and he missed him. And of course, he went back to the house and was going to go in through the front uh, door. But the boy shouted from the window upstairs. And uh, the father said to him, uh, jump. And the boy said, but... Daddy, I can't see you with the smoke. He said, jump and I will catch you. And that's what happened. And the father caught him. And that kind of image is an image for us to, to trust in God. God can say to us in different ways, jump. And we know and with confidence that he will hold us.
And so, Father, as we turn to you in prayer, we thank you for the gift of this weekend. And we ask your grace and your blessing upon us, upon those whom we love, who are dear to us and those who are living in other parts of the world. Keep them in your care and love. The Lord be with us. Lord, we pray for our church at this time, for Francis, our Pope, for all who are called to leadership roles in our church. And as we prepare to return to our churches in the next few weeks, Lord, be with us and strengthen us and strengthen our people in your care and in your love. Lord, hear us. We pray for all who are sick at this time. We ask your grace and your blessing to touch their lives. Those who are in hospital, those who are undergoing burial treatments at this time, those who may feel down at this time. Bless them, Lord, with your care and your love. Lord, hear us. For our own individual needs and intentions, and remembering in a special way all those whose anniversaries occur about this time, may they rest in your light and love. Lord, hear us. Heavenly Father, these are our prayers. We make all of these prayers today with the prayers of our Mass. Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread which we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine which we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its actions we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you, through Christ to Jesus our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we attain. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Dermot, our Bishop, and all who are called to ministry in your church. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. With confidence in the Father's love for us as children of the Father, as sisters and brothers of Jesus, our Lord and Saviour, we are privileged to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant our peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are you now called to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Lord, though I am unable to receive you sacramentally at this time, bless me and keep me in your care and love. Never let me be parted from you. May I love you, Lord, now and always, as you love me. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, in all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment. The eyes of all look to you, Lord, and you give them their food in due season. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you and keep you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is now ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord.